had this wild idea to get you guys to send in your posing photos for me to give you some advice on what would look better. This is absolutely not criticism of your body. This is just giving you general advice on how you can learn to work what you have better so that you feel better about yourself so you can go and continue slaying it life. Photos sent in from the girls, thank you. So many different body shapes and sizes. I think anyone watching is gonna be able to get some really great tips on how they can learn to post better, get the most out of their photos and feel really, really good about yourself. Julie, you are a queen. This photo is absolutely unbelievable. For your other photos, this one, for example, you've got clothes going on, girl. <laughs> I think you need to figure out what to do with your hands. Hands can always generally look awkward, so have something to hold, play with your hair. For your standing pose, almost perfect. Lots of different angles. The only thing is your elbow is straight on, looks very short, so either slightly to the side or inwards. Something that shows it off, because if you just take a photo of a limb this way, or even photographing legs sometimes just like this, you lose a limb and doesn't look that good. Secondly, you have to emphasize your waist. You've lost your waist completely in this outfit, so it'd be good either for you to turn slightly to show off that you have a waistline or just get a belt to accentuate your waistline. Shannon is so adorable. For this one, the only difference that I would make is lift your head off because right now you're squishing everything down and you've just kind of created a clump. So lifting your head off a little bit for this one, common mistake that girls make, as you can see, the top of your body is leaning forward, meaning that it's a lot larger because anything that is closer to the camera is gonna appear larger, anything further away is gonna look smaller. You're leaning into the camera, you're losing your legs. Like even for me right now, you can see, this is looking quite large, the rest is looking quite small. So all I would do is probably shift to the side, extend your legs a little bit maybe, give them a little bit more shape because you've lost your legs. Queen, I love the attitude that you've got going in this photo. I love how you put one hand in front, popped one leg forward. What I would do is maybe turn your body a little bit more because you've lost a little bit of waistline and perhaps also engage your tummy muscles and stand up straighter. Beautiful Romy. Okay, so you are taking the photo slightly too high up because you can see the top of your body is looking larger and your legs are going into a very small little triangle. Try shooting a little bit lower from waist hip to extend your legs. It's gonna make a massive difference. Also, the reason why I like that you've taken this photo is you can see it's lower down, so it's giving a better perspective. And what you've done with your jumper is you've tailored it towards your waistline. So it actually gives you the impression of a waistline which is perfect. Whereas here, as you can see, it's kind of, you've lost your waistline completely. That is something that you should definitely work on. Finding clothing that is tailoring towards your waist and accentuating because I think that's actually the biggest hindrance is that your clothing isn't suited for your body shape. You need to accentuate your waistline. Same thing for Brianne here. I literally think you've just lost your waist with your clothing. You need to make sure that you have clothes that are tailored around your waistline. The joy of being a curvy girl is to show off your curves as much as possible. So having clothes tailored towards your waistline with either a belt and then a nice skirt is gonna do wonders for your body shape. And also generally, if you have boots that come up really high, they shrink your legs. You have to be a little bit careful so right now your legs look really short because your boots are going up so so high so it would be better for you to have shorter boots to accentuate your legs so I know this is not exactly posing a device but it all comes together in one of my videos why you look ugly in six ways to fix it not that I'm saying you're ugly mm -mm, that's just clickbait but it talks about making sure that you're wearing the right clothing for your body type which is part of owning yourself and feeling great about yourself and especially that your top your red top is going so much lower as well you've made your legs teeny tiny. Rosa sent through a whole lot of photos. They were really, really cute and perfect. For this one though, toes. Everything's very, very cute. She's doing great things, playing with a skirt, which is very fun, but her toes are now pointed. So stand up on your tippy toes just a little bit or bring your feet together and crisscrossing them at the front. Tasha, honey. Here she's leaning forward again. You can see her legs are getting a lot smaller. She's also lost her waistline because of the clothing she's wearing. You can wear baggy clothes and you can slightly see your waistline, but it's two sides of just bulk making it straight up and down. So I would scoop it back so you can see that you have a waist. Also stand up tall. If you look at all these photos from the girls that I've submitted. Facial expressions. This includes me. I just noticed this is the biggest takeaway from this video is that we as females, why do we do these facial expressions? This is not queen style. This is not owning it. This is not powerful. And I am from now on vouching to never do this shit again because I am gonna stand up tall and I hope you do the same. So your expressions, let's work on the expressions from now on. You are not a delicate little petal. You are a queen and you have a lot to bring to the table. So your photos, they're representation of who you are. So from now on, I want you guys to really work on lifting your chin, staring like with purpose, putting a gaze in your eyes. Be strong. Let's all work on this together. Tiffany. 
Let's start with the doggy one. Cute as hell. I love the concept of what you're going for here. The only slight difference I would do is put a gaze into your eyes, like a really powerful, strong gaze. Because if you're trying to sell your jewelry, you want to sell the dream. So if you're just like kind of gazing forward with that purpose, it's not showing that your queen shaped head girls are just because you're selling a product, I'm gonna get a little bit more technical, but you need to fix your clothes in this instance. They're very clumped all together. And by fixing your clothes and pulling your shirt down around, what's this called? Shoulder? <laughs> it's gonna give the impression of a longer neck. Oilani. I think that's how you say your name. Cute as hell. Okay, so this is adorable. I love everything you're going for. As I did in my posing video, you understand that when you have an object further away from the camera, your legs shrink. So I am now very short-legged, but if I bring my legs closer towards the camera, Oh, hell, look at that leg, lady. So that's the only thing I would do for your photo here is to bring your legs towards the camera. And this is in general, if girls are ever worried about their tummy or whatever in these kind of poses, you can hide them. Isn't that the joy? Show off your assets that you're proud of. So for in this instance, you can't see the tummy. If you've got a really big bust that you don't necessarily want to show, you can just cover yourself up here. Whatever assets you want to accentuate, work with them. The rest are easily hidden. Brianna mentioned that she's super tall and she doesn't know what to do with her body. For you, I think it would be so beneficial to turn 45 degrees to the camera, which you've done in the photo that someone else took of you. I think someone else taking photos of you is to your advantage. You know actually how to work the camera really well. You've put your leg forward. You've put your hand delicately on your leg, which looks really great. So you've nailed this pose of course keep experimenting I don't want you guys just to keep doing one pose all the time because that's boring so just figure out whatever poses work for your body in order to create more curves Cheyenne all right girl I love what you're going for it's telling a story that's really cool you've also clumped everything here right everything's gone you have created yourself into a blob all you could have done in this photo is to turn yourself a little bit more towards the camera if you wanted to cover your face you know and not show it off be mysterious you could still do that with your hair and use the entire window take your legs to the other side of the window so that they look longer you've squished your legs you can't see it or anything girl Elia. okay so beautiful legs great shape make sure you point your toes and also you need to bring your head up because right now if you're ever shooting and you take a photo and your nose is kind of morphing into your chin or anywhere else in your face you've lost a lot of detail so you need to lift that head turn it up wherever just not clump it together like this <laughs> not so not so good <laughs> hardy common mistake that most people make when they're sitting look at that so much larger which is good for guys sometimes but you need to sit up don't slouch into the pose ever the more uncomfortable the pose is generally the more beautiful it is with this one i would like sit up I wouldn't even use my arm very much because whenever I put pressure on it, it looks kind of weird. So I would just pretend that I'm using my arm in this instance. I feel like all of this makes me sound superficial, but all I'm trying to do is give a level playing field for everyone that is out there because whenever someone knows how to pose and you compare your photos to those people, it's always really heartbreaking. But when you have these like small basic skills, even though I'm like into personal development and I love reading and all this kind of stuff, let's start with the basics. Let's get you feeling really good about yourself and then I can teach you about how to slay the world how about that <laughs> i love this photo oh my god jade honestly i am probably going to recreate this photo this is so beautiful i love what you've done with this i appreciate so much that you've gone into the art mode brilliant i love how you brought your hands in making a little triangle it's just brilliant the lighting is beautiful so well done on that this photo that you sent through the only thing I would encourage is for you to stand up straight because just as we were talking, it is a very common thing for girls to slouch down, not owning their shit, not owning their power. So your photos are so beautiful. I just want to see more power in your photos. Not necessarily like, I'm a freaking boss. I mean, you can, because <laughs> that's what I'm going to be going for from now on. But just even if you looked up a little bit straight ahead and just kind of had a, like a strong gaze in your eyes, completely different feel to the photograph gives the impression of power. So stand up straight. You are confident. You have so much to bring and solid gaze in your eyes. Gian, same thing, <laughs> expression. I think we've got to work on that. But the other thing is you didn't point your toes. You've also squished your leg together, which has lost completely shape. If you somehow manage to put it out somewhere, you bring shape back. You're leaning into the chair, which generally never looks good. Whenever you're leaning back, you're like, your clothes do weird, funky things. Your shape of your torso goes down. So you should have just sat up. For this one, more of the criticism is that you don't really see you. So you've kind of gone into the oblivion because the background is so busy. So if you'll see any of my photos, I generally go for three elements only. So like trees, me, rocks. 
ocean, me, rocks. Of course, grass, mountains. Like there's always three distinct things that I go for. Whereas here, it's just so much going on. We've lost you. I love you. Your face is so fun and so fierce and your stance is boss. I love this so much. The only tiny advice, I would probably just turn a little bit more towards the camera so that you do show an accentuation of your waistline more. Although you are already doing it with the back, I like that you have showing the back and you've curved your back a little bit, which is really great. If by turning your waistline towards the camera, you lose that side, don't do And then instead, just engage your tummy muscles, pull them in. Letitia! Beautiful photos, great um, editing, I love that. Love this one in front of Egypt, because I love Egypt. <laughs> in front of Egypt? You stood in front of the whole Egypt. <laughs> but what I really love about this is that you have got so many angles going on and you look very happy and very much into the experience. And I like how you your clothing has actually done this little cool S thing, given the impression of cute curves. So that looks really good. For this one, engage the tummy muscles and then your shoulders are very straightforward and leaning forward. I'll lean them back a little bit and then turn away from the camera just a little bit. Thank you so much for sending through your photos. I really appreciate it. I've had an amazing time going through this. Keep playing with your poses. As I said, to me, photography is art. Just getting the most out of myself is something that I love doing. Art. Art is the way to go. Just keep pushing through for art. I hope you guys enjoyed If you want to see more of my photos, check them out on Instagram. Um, thank you also for the massive growth I've had on uh, YouTube and Instagram lately. Like my channel is kind of exploding right now. <laughs> so I'm really grateful. Thank you very, very much. Until next time. Peace. Oh.